The Snake Princess. Once upon a sunny day, a certain kingdom was bursting with celebration. Their beloved princess was getting married. Elaine was known for her beauty, which would captivate and melt the toughest of hearts. So, of course, when the time had come, she picked the most handsome prince. Oh, princess, you look stunning. Her highness's beauty is blinding. <laughs> I'm grateful to you all. Just think, in a few moments, I'll be married. The prince is here! Oh my goodness! Oh my good... Oh! Ouch! Your, Your highness? highness? Ow! That really... Ah! My face! Elaine looked at her reflection in horror. Across her face was a tiny scar. Princess, it's really nothing. Nothing? It's my wedding day, and I've got this disaster on my face. I feel so dreadful. Oh, only my beloved can console me. She ran to meet her prince. My beloved. Elaine, you look so... <gasps> What's that on your face? It's a scar. It's hideous. I can't marry you now. Elaine was stung by his words. You can't mean that. Of course I do. You aren't the most beautiful princess anymore. I'm canceling this marriage. With that, the prince left. Heartbroken, Elaine rushed away in despair. Oh, how could this happen? All because of the scar. The garden was a sacred one and had belonged to the royal family for generations. It housed a group of spirits that now rose to help Elaine. Poor child, maybe if we take away the scar. Blah! What good will that do? You! You're the spirits that help and guard my family! I know of you! We know you too, Elaine. Ever since you were a baby. And now, even with this heartbreak, forget about him! Plenty of fish in the sea! No, I'm done with love! Love? That wasn't love. Does he know about your other amazing qualities? Like how you adore bugs, or your terrible dancing skills. <laughs> Ugh! These qualities belong to the real you. And you hide them behind a facade. If he loved you, he'd love your flaws, your scars. I don't care. I'm done with people. Spirits, please turn me into a uh, snake. Yes, a snake. What? We couldn't. I want this, please. The spirits looked at each other helplessly. With heavy hearts, they let their magic flow. But one of the spirits chanted under her breath, unnoticed. In an instant, Elaine turned into a snake. Oh! This is how I will look forever. S Goodbye, my dear family, my friends, and you, my dearest spirits. She left them, slithering away. Oh dear, I wish we hadn't done that. Give it time. She may just be able to break it herself. What do you mean? Hmm, a small secret. Elaine's new body felt odd. She moved rather slowly. By evening, she had reached a small lake. Sigh. What now? Will I have to stay out here in the wild? What will I eat? Elaine rested upon a small rock. A few insects settled themselves on her. For even as a snake, 
Her kind nature drew them to her. Now as she rested, a man spotted her. He was awestruck at the strange phenomenon. All those insects on that snake and it isn't even bothered. As he moved closer, Elaine shook with fright. Who's there? What? A talking snake? How dare you? I'm Elaine, a princess. You don't look like one. Oh, you mean a snake princess. Yes, I mean no, I mean, ugh. Elaine told the man everything. So now I don't know what to do. Oh dear, you can stay with me if you want. Um, no, I wouldn't want to cause you or your family any trouble. Oh, well, my home is in the next kingdom, close to it, in a forest. There's an abandoned shed. You could live there. Elaine liked this idea and accepted his offer. They galloped away under the evening sky. By the way, what's your name? It's Jeffrey. Jeffrey reached the shed and placed Elaine on his jacket. Exhausted, she curled up and went to sleep. From then on, Jeffrey would visit Elaine regularly, arms laden with gifts. Thank you, Jeffrey. I don't know what I would have done without you. But you don't need to spend all your time with me. That's okay. I like spending time with you. You're my bestie. Ew. Yeah, my snake bestie. Stop! No, we're just friends. My just friend, snake bestie. Elaine and Jeffrey would explore the forest quite often. Elaine soon began to have fun. We? Oh, I haven't had this much fun in forever. <laughs> hmm. You play music? I, your royal hissiness, am a man of many talents. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> Elaine began to wiggle to the tune, and Jeffrey watched her with fascination. <laughs> oh, hmm. Don't stop, you look so happy. His words took Elaine by surprise. She noticed that Jeffrey had shifted himself quite far from her. Why are you sitting there? Well, I don't really like bugs. Elaine hadn't noticed the swarm of insects that had surrounded her. Dragonflies, ladybugs, caterpillars. Do you think it's strange for a princess to like such things? Nope, I don't. I feel being your true self is an absolute accomplishment. Elaine was happy hearing this. She slithered closer to Jeffrey, who now looked worried. What's wrong? <sighs> My kingdom is being terrorized by bandits. They rob the people in the night and leave them frightened. Oh, how terrible. I wish I could do something. How brave you are. I'm sure if something turns up, you'll do your part. I'm right here if you need me. Where? Sunbathing? Snakes need all the solar power they can get to be fully charged for anything, even bandits. The days passed by, and the two got to know each other quite well. One night, however, the shed door flew open. Elaine heard footsteps and hid. No one's here. Those soldiers ruined our last hideout. Our plan to capture the king must be thorough. <gasps> They're the bandits Jeffrey was talking about. He must be the leader. Elaine listened silently as they made their plans. Good. I want no mistakes. Tomorrow is the day we get rich. When they left, Elaine was in a panic. She didn't know where Jeffrey lived, and so she waited until the morning. When he entered, she leapt at him. Whoa there, happy to see your- Bandits! No, it's Bestie. No, listen. Elaine told Jeffrey about the night's happenings. We must leave immediately, come. Where are you taking me? 
they galloped through the kingdom streets. Elaine peeped out of Jeffrey's bag and saw that they were nearing the kingdom's palace. Wait, Jeff, that's the palace. We can't enter there. Why not? I can enter my own home, can't I? Your home? You're the prince? Why didn't you tell me? You never asked. Jeffrey went straight to his parents. Mother, father, we may have found a way to defeat the bandits. Defeat the bandits? Who's we? The king and queen screamed when their son drew a huge snake out of his bag. Uh, hello. Meet my bestie. Jeffrey explained everything to his astonished parents. An enchanted princess? Oh my. Well, let's hear what she has to say. Elaine spoke about the bandits and how they planned to infiltrate the palace. Not on our watch. We'll inform the guards at once. Thank you, Elaine. That night, the bandits came and snuck into the palace. The leader tried finding the king's chambers. Aha! Huh? He's not here. Well, the palace is huge, so I just used another room. Oh dear, did I ruin your plans? <sighs> I'll get you. Guards! What? No! This is the end for you. No more terrorizing my people. However, in another part of the palace, Jeffrey was fighting some bandits and had dropped Elaine. Being a snake, Elaine couldn't see clearly. She could only feel through sound and vibrations. Jeffrey, where are... Oh! A snake? Get away from me. Je Jeffrey? Elaine! Jeffrey, why did you do that? Whether a snake, a princess, or even a bug, you are someone important to me. You are someone I genuinely love. With those words, Elaine's enchantment broke and she returned back to her normal self. The shocked bandits charged. But Elaine was a skilled swordsman. She defeated them easily. Hmm, don't mess with me. Amazing. The bandits were all locked up. And the next day, a huge celebration begun. But soon after, Elaine returned home. Everyone was overjoyed to see her. Oh, princess. I promise us she'll never disappear like that again. I promise. Elaine was still mystified by her disenchantment and so sought out the spirits. Hmm, I made a small tweak in the enchantment that if someone would tell you they loved you for you, the spell would break. Love always exists, Elaine. You just have to be brave enough to find it. Thank you a lot. Did you find out what you wanted? I found more than that. You know, I didn't disclose my royal identity as most people only want me for my title. You're the first one that actually likes me for me. I don't just like you, I love you. In time, as our love grew stronger, the couple married each other. People aren't meant to be perfect. Flaws exist, and they are the scars to perfection. Something that doesn't exist. So wear your scars with pride, as they are what make you not perfect, but an imperfectly beautiful you.